All right. Wow. I just heard my boy Blood box a video, man. And Blood, you 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 so off base. <laughs> you are all over the place. Your video was supposed to be a response video. Did you did you watch the video that I did? Or did you just come on and type once you saw the words? You just started posting. Because if you watch that video, one, I never called Arthur Abram a bum. I said he's great at middleweight. See, you taking things out of context. You said so many things that were so inaccurate. One, me being hypocritical. That's crazy. I'm known for staying with my ideas and I don't change so this is what I have to say I'm gonna try to keep it as on point as possible when I made my video it was about why Andre Ward I was gonna show you why he wasn't <laughs> pound for pound and your video was supposed to tell me why you thought he was and for about 28 seconds I heard you discuss why you thought he was, and then the rest went about Floyd Mayweather. So, <laughs> you went on a whole Floyd attack for the rest of the video. Now, you want me to explain to you why Floyd Mayweather is pound for pound, which is ass and that. <laughs> you pound for pound, does somebody knock you off the throne, or you give up that title by retiring and going off to the sunset? That's just the way it is. It's, it's asinine to try to compare Andre Ward's work to Floyd Mayweather's work. Floyd ain't got to fight three, four times a year. He didn't already establish himself. He could fight one, two times a year, and it's all good. But it's funny to me how you take facts <laughs> and then make your own opinion-based comments about it. You'll take something that's factual and instead of continuing with the fact. You'll, take, you'll start off with a fact and then make your own story as you go as Mosley fighting Mayweather but Mayweather cherry picked him funny to me that when he fought Shane Mosley everybody was giving him props for Shane fighting Shane when Shane came in the ring when he fought Marquez and said fight me I'm the real number one welterweight in the world which he was and he fought Shane Mosley nobody had a problem with it when he was fighting Shane once he beat Shane, now it's a cherry pick. Every time Floyd get ready to fight somebody, there's no problem with the fight. Everybody want to see it. Then all of a sudden, after he whoop him and make him look like they shouldn't even be in the ring, oh, he cherry picked him. Because the man is great and he can't be beaten, y'all want to find a way to try to beat him. That's that's just the nature of the, of the beast. But if the man is great, he's just great. Let's let's just leave it at that. You know, but they only put this criteria to Floyd. Y'all don't put this to nobody else because y'all don't care. I said Floyd, should, if he fight America, we should all get up and leave America. I put the video out. But yet and still, oh. Like, I'm all of a sudden just all pro Floyd and how I'm feeling guilty about Manny Pacquiao because I backed Donier. When the only fact in that line was that I backed Donier. I backed Donier all the way back to 2008 before anybody even was t knew how to spell Manny Pacquiao. And I said he was better than Manny Pacquiao since 2008. I was the only one talking about Nonito Donier. And why even bring his name and Kessel's name in the same sentence? You see, that's where real boxing here is going to look and say, this guy just, I don't know what he's trying to go. Because <laughs> the Mikkel Kessler, the only six way that he has that's any credibility. And you go to box rec. Because, you know, I deal with facts. Go to the box rec. The only win that he got that's credible is Carl Frotch. That's it. Everybody else, boom. Every time he fought somebody that was was considered a contender, he lost. Better yet, look at other people Andre Ward fought, even in the Super Six. How many of them was in the so-called so, so -called, um, 
pound for pound list that you want to make the top ten because you say you got a pound for pound list. But if you got a pound for pound list, then what is the ten, top ten best boxers? What is that? The top ten list. Anybody remember a top ten? I remember top ten best fighters. So is that pound for pound, or you got two lists? And then if that's the case, what is the criteria? And as you told me for war, it's because he fought in a tournament. He fought with a in a tournament and cleaned out a division. Well, Floyd Mayweather cleaned out 130, so I guess that made him pound for pound. He went to 135, beat the best guy without any fight in between, went right to 135, beat the top guy twice, and kept moving up in weight. Five different weight classes. Still haven't been beaten. It's to the point, the man is so dominant for so long that people got to cheer if he's bleeding in a fight in a fight that he's winning unanimously against Miguel Cotto they so happy just to see him bleed they happy for the fact that somebody may have hit him in camp and then you took non facts like saying that he want to make Canelo come down to, to to 147 because this guy when Andre Ward made Dawson come to 168 the same guy you praising, <laughs> you criticize Floyd. It's, it's good for Ward, bad for Floyd. And that's what I keep telling y'all. Y'all don't want Ward as pound for pound. Y'all don't want him up there. Y'all need him to be up there. Y'all want him to be close enough so y'all can put him up there because y'all hate for Floyd. That's all it is. If you're going to do it, stick to the facts. You talk about Ward did better than Floyd because he got the gold medal in the Olympics? Come on, man. Read what happened at the Olympics with Floyd Mayweather. Okay, the judge got suspended because they cheated him out of his gold medal. Matter of fact, they cheated the whole U.S. team. All of them made it to the quarterfinals and all of them was gone the next day. Then they had three Croatians or whatever make it to the next round. And that guy got suspended, but they never gave Floyd back the gold. They Floyd won that fight. It was clear. He got robbed just like they did Roy Jones. But if you don't research, you won't know. So you, so you, you took, you started with a fact, and then you created your own opinion. You can't do that if you want to talk about this sport. <laughs> and you want because what you're doing is you misleading people. It's just twisting, spin play. So. Basically breaking this down, and I can't even believe I gotta break this down. How many <laughs> people that Andre Ward fought really that was considered top ten pound for pound in that tournament? It's just the real. And you talked about it ain't his fault Jermaine Taylor wasn't in the tournament. That's cool because Jermaine Taylor really got injured. You know, he had bleeding on the brain. That's cool. Andre Durrell, why don't you uh investigate why that fight didn't happen with Andre Ward? He's supposed to fight Andre Durrell. They went to Showtime and demanded more money for the fight because the fight was happening too early. They felt they should be getting paid more. Durrell was cleared to fight, by the way. So y'all want to say the injury that uh, Arthur Abram and all that. No, he was cleared to fight. And they had the fight coming up and Showtime said, well, we got him under contract. We, you already signed the contract. We ain't finna negotiate any more money. So they were saying that they would pull out of the Super Six and wouldn't fight. And he said, "Well, if, he do, if they do that, then I will sue them because I got them under contract. They need to read their contract." And that's Ken Hurstman. After that, Darrell went and got an injury. Got a doctor to approve his injury and say he couldn't continue in the Super Six. He need to go through more mental scans and all of this stuff. They found the doctor, so the Showtime had to get a doctor to correspond with him. And they said, well, if he's not physically able to continue, then he can't continue. So they they let him out of the Super 6. Because they weren't going to take a risk knowing that they had that doctor in there. So they, they found a way to keep the fight from happening because they wanted it to happen later down the road because it's supposed to have been bigger money. So that's, that's, your, that's your guy? That's what he do? Huh, when he don't find a fight that's favorable to him in the Super Six, he wants he takes a step out. Now these are facts. This ain't me hating on the man, cause I think Andre Ward was the most talented fighter in the Super Six. Period. 
He beat Chad Dawson, but he made Chad Dawson come to 168. Chad Dawson team said, we will fight you at 170 pounds. Let's do it at 170. They said no. He either comes to 168 or there is no fight. And why is he trying to drain Chad? Now Chad's saying, okay, fight me at 175. You started your career at 175. You fought in the Olympics at 175. Why you can't go there now? All of a sudden, you calling out Chavez Jr.? Hmm. Mr. This is about what have you done for me lately? He ain't done nothing since September lately. Since you want to talk about that. Let's talk about that. He ain't did nothing since September. Because he's been what? Injured again. The man has a list of injuries. Knee injury. Optoscopic knee surgery in 2008 when I sat and talked to him. Talked to him in 2006 when we was at the Mayweather fight. He was out for elbow surgery. He was out for a year. He didn't have a broken hand. He didn't have his eye cut. This man has postponed as many fights as humanly possible. How long can he go? How many more fights Andre Ward really got in him? That's why he's calling people out. Man, been retired for five years, Joe Calzaghe. You want to dig him up out the grave and try to get him in the ring. Come on, man. We, we see where this is going. They got to make their money off Andre Ward while they can. Because they's not going to be in the game for long. Not with his list of injuries. And I think he'll beat Chad Johnson, Dawson, Dawson at any level. But this guy could have fought Glenn Johnson at 175. He could have fought these guys. He could have fought Boutte. He didn't want to fight Boutte. The style was too bad for him. They, they know what they're doing. And you hear James Prince talking about some, well, we'll come fight Froch in the UK if they can convince Kawasaki to come out of retirement as part of the package deal that when we beat Froch, we gonna get we can get Kawasaki. That's your guy? Ain't that cherry picking? According to your standards for Floyd that you don't carry on to no other fighters, that's cherry picking. <laughs> okay, and by your standards, uh cleaning out a division and or what have you, the best fighter really over him is Sergio Martinez. And well we ain't even going there. Sergio Martinez is ahead of him, really. Look who Sergio Martinez beat compared to the talent that Andre Ward beat. Now, you gonna say, well, what you going to say about Martinez? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Deuces.